Um, so, as you can see, we have these beautiful men back here working, getting ready for the garden that is actually going to be dedicated for the children. We are going to be teaching a lot this year for our kids to teach them how to grow their own food and also how to contribute to the community. The food that they'll that will be grown here in the actual kids garden we will be cooking with we will be contributing to the uh, food pantry um i do have a lot of ideas that we are going to be doing we're going to be growing tomatoes um I'm trying to think <laughs> um we're going to do some herbs um, we're even going to create a apple tree hedge. So instead of apple trees being really tall, they're only going to be about four feet high. So they're going to learn how to grow apples. We're going to have herbs. Um, I even have right here that you, you may see the garden area, but right here in front of me is half of it's going to be dedicated to the flowers. They're going to learn how to grow flowers. We're going to have some snakehead fertilities, uh, um, other flowers that I'm going to try to collect for the kids. We're going to do some sunflowers. A lot of this, and also, we're teaching them about heirloom seeds as well. So, heirlooms are, they are not gen genetically modified by Big Agri. These are the seeds that you can take from the parent um, product, whether it be a fruit or a vegetable or an herb. Or a flower um, you can actually take the seeds and you can plant them back into the ground and they will re yeah, they will grow see seeds that are genetically modified by big agri they can't grow if you get a tomato from big agri if you take those seeds and you plant them in the ground you ain't gonna get to tomato no tomatoes so this is why we are trying to, to do heirloom seeds. So we can actually bring more back to ourselves and become more sufficient. So I'm going to let the men put the cotton holes. So if you can see, they are putting cotton holes on the actual ground. What this is doing is this is putting more nitrogen back into the soil and it's going to be able to be more fertile for our plants when we put them into the ground. So, stay tuned. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Why don't you talk, come over here and please tell the lovely people what you are doing. Well, this is the designated area. Every time we film, there's always a car. As she said, this is a designated area for the children's moon day school garden. Uh, right, what we're doing right now is in Lake City, it's cotton country. And the gins around here, when they, when they gin the cotton, they have this excess of cotton holes. This is what comes out of the gin and it's free and it makes good compost. Now this is some that's, they had in bags that were spread around so it can de decompose but you see how it's it's going to take a while now if you'll go over here yeah in this bed flowers. It's, it's gotten flowers. holes it's already started decomposing so it turns in you know it's been turned over i just did these beds yesterday but this has been sitting out here for a while and by the time spring gets here this will all decompose down we'll turn it over and it adds nutrients back to the soil or like so that's what we're doing in the moon day school room it's spreading out the cotton holes and then in the spring probably around the middle of march we'll come out here and turn it over and then adds nutrients to that and like she said this designated area is for the moon day school room so we can teach the kids and stuff about growth and nature and contributing to contrib the community contrib back to the community and to heirloom seeds and all this stuff that we're growing but from this section back here is designated for the children's garden area. It's for our flowers that we're going to be growing. We right. actually have a few yeah. snakehead fertilities planted right now. Those are snakeheads. Yeah, these are snakeheads right in here that we planted. And these are some we had left over from last year, so I just put them in there. All these beds over here, 
are going to be herbs for the church. And we're going to fill up all the way down to there for herbs. And it's going to be the church herb garden and the children's moon day school garden. So, and uh, you know, I'm, at, I'm really excited about that because nothing better than working with children and watching them work and learn and grow and how uh, the cycle of nature keeps repeating itself and how much we can benefit from it. So, uh, with that being said, if you like what we're doing here at the Moon Day School, yep. and you like the videos, hit that subscribe button. Hit that little notification bell up there. That way, whenever we put up a new video, you'll get notified for it. Um, uh, what's the other one? Don't forget to share. Yeah, share. Share Let our videos. Let everybody know what we are actually yeah, doing Because we're going to have big things going on this summer with the kids in the Moon Day School room. we got them a garden area. She's got classes going on. And one of the things we do here at Southern Love Church Wicca is we understand that children are the future of our faith. So we're introducing them to the faith. We're introducing them to um, the philosophies of Wicca, nature, and all this stuff to help them understand the world in which they live in and how much they can grow in our faith and understand about nature and uh, give them some of the spirituality that's helped us throughout our entire lives. Children are our future. They're the next generation. So till then, Ashley Riley, Terry Riley, from Southern Up Church Wicca and the Moon Day School Room, a classes she's got going on, saying, mm -hmm. "Blessed be." Blessed be.